That's where we're going. Let's say hi to Glenn and hello to Basil Coward on camera number one, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Glenn. How are you? Hi, Leroy. How are you doing? I'm well, well, well. Welcome to uh, the, the fabulous Call for Help program. Oh, thanks. I love this show. You do? Oh, oh yeah. I watch nice. it all the time. Oh, thank you very much. What can we do to help you? Well, I was just curious. Um, I, I wanted to password protect just a file without having to switch uh, users in Windows XP or right. without having to encrypt or decrypt the files and everything. Yeah. Uh, is that possible? Yeah. I mean, XP has built-in uh, encryption. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do it. Uh, you can encrypt a folder. Um, you say just a single file? Well, I want to just, just uh, put a password on it without encrypting it. Without encrypting it. Um, Okay. Yeah, I mean, one way you could do that is you could right-click on the folder and make it a zip file, compress it, uh, and then, actually, you don't, do, you don't do that. I'm sorry, you can't do it that way. You have to create a folder. This may not be what you want. You have to create a folder. So I'm going to do a file, new, and I'm going to create a new compressed folder. And then, hmm, I don't see that here. Maybe this is not an NT, new folder. I want to make a new compressed folder. Huh. Well, so much for that. I think <laughs> there is a way. I thought maybe 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 this isn't the right. Uh, uh, you have to have an NTFS folder uh, file system, don't you? Anyway, I can't. I normally you do file new compressed. You create a folder. It's a zip folder, and you can assign it a password. I don't know why I can't do it on this machine. It's I don't think that useful of a of a technique anyway. I'll tell you what I'm going to recommend. Um, it's not just for an individual file. It does do encryption. The reason you want encryption is if you don't encrypt it, it's not really protected. What kind of file is it? Is it a, a document? Uh, well, well, no, it's um, uh, like if I have a lot of uh, uh, MP3 files, uh, pictures, uh, that type of thing. Yeah, see, I mean, if it's a Microsoft Word document or an Excel document, you can password protect it, although that's pretty easy to crack. Uh, and then it's not encrypted, it's just password protected. But really... Um, Password protection pretty much always requires encryption, I think. I mean, can you think of a way he could password protect it without encrypting it? I mean, you can if the application supports it. There's nothing that I'm aware of. No, I think you have to encrypt it. You do, right? Yeah. And oh. we're going to recommend a very, I mean, it's free. And it's very easy to use. I mean, I, I showed you how, <laughs> how easy it is to do on Windows. I know I can do it. I just, I, it's not working on this machine for some reason. Um, there is a... Um, uh, uh, built-in file encryption too on XP, but that doesn't work because once you're logged in, um, anybody can see it. And so you want probably something a little bit more secure than that. So I'm going to recommend a program called TrueCrypt, and Steve Gibson has recommended this, and we've recommended it. And the nice thing is it's absolutely free. And uh, oh, I'm misspelling crypt. There you go. See, I'm, I can't type today. Well, there we go. TrueCrypt. It's at TrueCrypt.org, and uh, it is an encryption program, Glenn, but. Um, I think it's kind of what you want. What it does is it creates an invisible drive partition that you can then drag those MP3s to or anything else. And, and when you're not using it, it's completely invisible. Nobody can see it. And I think that's kind of what you want. Uh, are you, do you not want to encrypt because you don't want to spend the, the time because it's too slow? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, that's the thing I didn't like. It took so long to encrypt and then decrypt it every time you want to open it. Well, Windows it. does. Windows is very slow doing that. Um, uh, this TrueCrypt is very fast. I don't think you'll notice any change. Uh, in fact, it's really uh, what's, what, what I really like about it is it's transparent. Uh, when you're there and logged in and using it, it looks just like a regular folder. You drag files in and out. It's all normal. The minute that you uh, close it or log out, it is invisible. Not only is it encrypted and password protected, but you can't even see that it exists. So, and it's free. I'll definitely give it a try. I think it's the one to try. It's 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 the one that all of my hacker friends use. T r u e c r y p t dot o r g TrueCrypt. Um, I don't know of a way. You know, you can pass. Like I said, you can password protect a Word file, an Excel spreadsheet, but that's because the program itself requires that password. And